am so excited, you guys, that today we're finally gonna do my March makeup project pan. You guys didn't know what makeup project pan is. It's basically where I talk about all the products that I have been working on for this past month, working on more of them for this month. So, and then also I will actually include it in my empties. If you guys don't see it, it will be my empties no matter what. And also I'll, I'll definitely include a lot of new stuff in these empties and all that. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget the subscribe button before you guys leave. And also make sure to also hit that notification bell so that way you guys don't miss new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Love creating awesome content for you guys every three times a week. Also see a lot of amazing stuff in my empties, no matter what, how many products I go through. I'm already starting my skincare haul again and also my makeup haul again. Wait for you guys to see what I'm actually getting for next month because I already know what I picked out, but I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is until you guys see it in my next box. But further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so you guys know I have been working on this Kirkland Signature Daily Pinnacle Tall Lads Cleanse Skin and Removes Makeup. You guys can tell I'm literally so close of adding this into my empties. And my favorite thing about these is that they remove my makeup really well. I don't have a whole lot right now. As you guys know, I have this one left. And then also I have four of these Rusty's Pack ones of the Kirkland's Daily Medical Tall Lads Day 15 Pre Moisture Tall Lads. The reason why I put these on my desk is because I'm trying to go through all the ones I've had, all the new ones that I do get my Monster Charm and will actually be in my closet and all that. And also after this one is completely done, I'll go to this last of the same packet soon. I love those big wipes so much. Like I can't believe how fast I go through those. It's so crazy. And then another thing you guys, I also been working on are my two sun sprays. This is the one that I was gonna keep as for this one because I'm gonna just use this one. I'll use this one just to like use up all the rest of the sun spray. What a wild photo focus make finish sun spray. I'll actually like put this one into this one so I can actually use it into these next coming month. Not this in March, but the another month after that and then you'll see a lot more stuff like i'm really excited to finish up and then this one is the Nevin beauty rose water sun spray makeup sun spray i'm like right about here somewhere and when this one actually does run out i'll put this in empties and then i'll use this one wild one right here. So you'll definitely see both of them, like this one in the end, and you'll see this one in my next part of Japan, like no matter how many times I go through it. And you guys also know I've already been working on this revolution, it's called the Mini Snapperist. It's the Eyeshadow Squad. So you guys know I've been working on this eyeshadow glitter one right here, and I'm gonna use this one next. So when this one does completely run out, I'll put this in, and I'll use the rest of that one out. Delete, and then I'll use this one, and then I'll go to this one, and then this one. And I can't wait for you guys to see this palette in my empty because I'm really glad I'm doing it. I'm going through all my old stuff before I actually use any of my new stuff because it's really important to finish up all of your old stuff first before you use new stuff. But I love these colors so much. And nothing you guys know I am still working on is this Kevin Aquan concealer. So you guys can kind of tell I have been working on this one for a long time. This one will always take me a very long time to finish. I don't know if this is actually a foundation or concealer. I don't know. So I would love if 
Kevin Kwan of their brand. I wish like they would let me know like, if it's actually a foundation or concealer. I have to look it up, but I can't wait to finish this thing up very soon. And also if I do finish this, it will definitely be in my beauty empties no matter what. And another thing you guys know I'm still using is this Dewey's Punk Volumized Mascara and it's called Black. I can definitely feel like there's still a lot in here. Definitely be MDs very soon. And also, every time you guys, like if I actually do clue skincare in my next empties, my mom actually used that, I'll clue that in there. But also, if my mom ever does finish up mascara, I will definitely include it in my empties. And also, I really definitely need more concealers, foundations, primers, all that because I really don't have a whole big amount of makeup. But this will definitely be my empties very soon. If this one does dry up, I'll clue this in empties no matter how many times I go through it. Another thing you guys want to know is I actually am participating of this Arlie No Buy No Buy Pergament. This is the one that's been helping of stuck by my nails. I love going, trying this thing out and I'm really excited. I have been working on this for a long, long time. If you guys can't really tell, I'm like right about there and I've been, I'm like literally, that's how far I am right now. I'm not even halfway through yet, but if I do grab this one, I do have one more stuff by my nails things, but I don't have any more of the your gels of like helping of stuff by your nails. And you guys can see I have been processing of stuff by my nails for a long time, and I can't believe how fast these nails grow. So if you guys ever need to stop by your nails, I really recommend this and I highly recommend it. Have that weird taste, but it does help you of stop by your nails. It's awesome. Another thing you guys want to know is I actually am using my foundations, which I am so excited to finish up. So first of all, I have is this Revolution Color Stay 2 in 1 Impact Makeup and Concealer. And this is the shade 310 Warm Golden. So if you guys can tell, I have about maybe two or three uses left. And then this will actually be in my empties because I'm really glad I'm doing it is I'm finishing up foundation and then I put in my empties and then I go to a new one. I like go to Marshalls, TJ Max. If they still have these, I will definitely buy them or write on my must charm. I'll definitely include that in there too. This is so good. It's also very, very pigmented. And then also when that one is completely done, clean it out and they'll keep it. And then I'll just use that one for just use this foundation and then just put it in here so I can also finish it. So I put tape of this shade right here because this thing was like falling out and I was like, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna put that in there so I can actually save the packaging of the uh, stamp. This is the Magic Materials Airbrush Foundation. It's by G Jeremy. Alexander Ultra Fine Material Powder Spray on Makeup and Smooth Finish. And you guys can tell it's the shade light, but I'm also almost done with this thing. So I can't wait if you guys see this one and also this one in my empties. And also if I got more foundations, I will still include my empties no matter how many times I will use it up. And another thing you guys want to know, I am already am using two primers right now. The first one I'm actually using is this Boom by Cindy Joseph and it's called Glow. It's like one of those like sticks kind of primers. A lot of primers I have never tried yet, but I will also come out. But right now I just wanted to like finish up all the ones I've had for a long time. And then also if I get any primers, I will still include that in my collection like after I do more hauls for you guys. Also, I will definitely include a lot of old primers in my MDs and then also more new ones of old primers in my like, you know, continue on like primer kind of thing. So I wanna show you guys how far I am. Boom. 
So you guys can tell I'm already like halfway through this thing. It's amazing, amazing primer and I can't wait to finish this thing up and also definitely clean my empties because I love stick primers because it makes my makeup so much easier, so much faster and now I'm going to like hurry up and finish it. And also when that one actually be in my empties and then I'll go to this one and I'll definitely like grab another primer and I'll definitely include that in my next part of pants. So you guys know like what the next primer, the next primer and the next primer I actually go through. So this is the CoverGirl BB Cream Boris Burp SPF 21 Tinted Moisturizer and Sunscreen for 5 Fear of Light. So this one is like actually really full, but I also just want to know, I did buy this at the Dollar Tree. I waited for this whole COVID kind of happen. But I really love this primer and I can't wait to finish this thing up because I know I never really talk about it in my monthly empties. Do you go back to Dollar Tree again? I'm definitely gonna buy these again because this is a really good primer. It says natural looking radiant sheer color, all day hydration, improves skin, less still on tick, see, Boris from SPF 21, effectively, lightweight, how skin feels smooth, to help instantly improve skin radiance and won't clog pores. I can't wait to use that in my empties like really soon in the near future. And also guys, I have a lot of eye products. First one, I'm really excited to also finish up. The Billion Dollar Brow, and I have this shade Brow Butter Brow Potted Tope. That shade called Tope. So I don't, oh wait, there it is. So if you guys can see up there, how far I am, and I've been kind of like going through the edge right now, and then I'm also inside right now, and this is how far. I am, and this is like crazy how fast I go through these brow products. These are also very glassable, so if I got more of these again, I will definitely include it in my empties. And then the other one I also have is this St. Lux Brow Gel, and it's called Clear. This is the only one of brow gel I have. I really would love if it actually come out with a set, like a huge set of all the brow products they have, like Nefe or any other brands that I always have like brow products and stuff. Love if this brand can actually come out with a full size of this brow gel because I really need more of these so bad because this is the only one I have and there's like none left. I will immediately go to the store and actually buy maybe four or five of them because I need a lot, you guys. I need a whole lot of these. There's still a lot in here and also it's also very, very jelly. But this will definitely be emptied very soon. And the other two I also have are the eyeliners. The first one I'm actually using is this Hard Candy Stay In Line Medical Eyeliner called Black Magic. You guys want to know, this is how far I am right now. But this one's gonna be out anytime soon. When this one does actually run out, definitely continue using this Marc Jacob one. It's also the shade called Black. May size, and I've never ever got a new size eyeliner before. I'm gonna show you guys how far I am right now. See, this is how far I am also right now. Every time you guys see one eyeliner that you guys don't see in my makeup tutorials or something, I always like put that in my empties and then I go straight to this Marc Jacob one after that. And also if you guys are wondering, I actually did two separate liners. I have one just like regular eyeliner, the other one just like one of those twisty on type of eyeliners that if I want to travel with and I'm like, okay, I need one to travel with, but just bring these. That's a good way, you guys, of how to put all your all your eyeliners and all that into two separate ones. If I got one of those like white plastic drawers, I could put one for like all the colors, one for medias, one for darks, all that, then I'll definitely do that. Now this one, I am really excited to also finish up. 
This is the L'Oreal Paris True Matte Super Vanilla Blush. This is the shade C34 Tender Rose. So I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but up there, that is like how far I am, but I'm still have long ways to go, but I will always include that in my empties. And then I have one more, but it's also a different shade. I also went through her blushes or something. I'll definitely include that in my empties. And if she ever wants to use mine, I'll actually let her use it. And another thing you guys want to know, I already am using a lot of lip products. So I have three lipsticks and I also have two lip glosses I'm also using right now. And if you guys want to know, I do found two backups of these and I'm gonna like leave these on my desk because I need to use these up. This is the one I'm actually using. It's the What A Wild called Dark Wine. So here's the first one I'm actually using right now. It's almost done, but I can't wait to finish one up. And it's also kind of melting right now. I'm really glad I'm using my fingers so I can like put it on my lips, make sure I have it all over. I see my make tutorials and stuff. And this one actually, there's like all that in the very bottom and I'll just like use my scraper and I'll definitely put it the rest of this one into this one and I can't wait to fish this thing up and I'll definitely put this one in my tutorials in the future because I'm really glad I'm using up all my lipsticks that I've had for a long time. That's a new lipstick so you guys know I'll like keep it in my packaging and in my lipstick and my glove gloss drawer. And then I'll definitely use the ones that I need to use up and then if I actually don't have any more lipsticks and lip glosses in my drawer, then I'll actually open those and I'll definitely include that in my packaging in the empties and stuff. And then I'll definitely use the ones that are new. But I love these and I can't wait to finish this up and I can't wait to try out more One of Wild because there's a lot of One of Wild like came out. Now this is the other one I'm also using. It's the Marc Jacobs 246 Slow Burn. I'm working on this for about two or three months. And you guys can kind of tell I am so close at writing this into my empties. If you just want to know they don't have a smell or a scent. So if you guys don't really like scent type of lip glosses and tinted lipsticks, then you guys this is the perfect one for you of like mate lipstick. If you like also flavor lip glosses, you can also buy them at the drugstore too. This is the only Marc Jacobs I have in my collection for lipstick, but I'll definitely try out the actual full size of this lipstick. And then also guys, these are the also lip glosses I'm also using up. This is the Sussy Chick lip gloss. So if you guys can kind of tell, I'm like actually right about there. And this one is almost completely gone and I can't wait to fish this thing up. And when this one does completely run out, I'll put this in the empties. And then I'll get to you using this color shine lip gloss called Flash. I'm really glad I'm actually using all the lip glosses I've had from the Dollar Tree, Soar, and this will definitely be my empties like in my next project pan because I'm really glad I'm actually using this thing up next. And the other one you guys know I'm also using up. Uh, this is the Too Faced Ray of Light Highlighter. I love this highlighter so much. Wait until you guys see this. Boom. So the reason why you guys I put the white highlighter in here because this is from like one of those eyeshadows. The reason why I did that is because I'm like, you know, trying to get rid of all my mini palettes I've had for a long time. But it all has a lot of shimmer in it. I'm like, oh, that'd be like perfect for a highlighter. Put it in there and it looks really nice. It's almost done. So when this one does run out, I'll put this in the empties and then you'll see a lot of new lipsticks, new lip glosses, and you'll see also this one I'm empties in the future. And another thing you guys want to know, I'm actually using this Too Faced Mel Chocolate Salali Longwear Mate Bronzer. I'm so excited to actually finish this thing up very soon. But this is so awesome, you guys. And I can tell I'm not even finished 
how far far I am right now. When you guys see like the farther of my project pan, the more I will include it in my next empties and then I'll go a new bronzer. If I don't have any more bronzers left, I'll include that in my empties no matter what. If you guys want to know how many bronzes I have, I have nine bronzes right now and that's not really a big amount. Love to get my bronzes in my best charm very soon. And another thing you guys want to know, I actually am project panning this powder. And if you guys want to know where I got this, I bought this at Walmart a long time ago. This is the Hard Cane Translucent Cherry Loose Powder. This is the number 130, If you guys can't really tell, the very back right there, and also you guys can see on the packaging, you guys can see right there. That is how far I am, but this will still take some time for me to finish it, but then I'll definitely include this in my empties, and I also am hoping next month I'll definitely get another powder because I love this powder so much. All right, guys, we have two more products, and we made it to the end. Ta-da! You guys, these are the eyeshadow palettes I have been working on. This is the Max Studio eyeshadow palette. And this is the one that's broken. Ta-da! So you guys can see I've been working on this color, this color, and this color. I didn't use this color or this color just yet because I want to focus on these four shades right now. I'm not even prior to panning just yet, but it's gonna get there for a long time. <laughs> Definitely see my next project pan video like next month. So I will still let you guys know how far I am with my makeup tutorials, what the next makeup eyeshadow palette I want to also use up next. And the last part you guys I have is this Color Mate eyeshadow palette and I got this one from the Dollar Tree and I also am really excited to also finish this thing up too. Oh my gosh, you guys look at this. Boom. So right now I'm already using this shade, this shade, this shade, and this shade. It's not even empty just yet because whenever it's like all these you know, like also like scraped out, then I will actually keep doing it until it's completely done. Like all of these ones right here. Keep using all of this row and also these ones too. And you'll definitely see this palette in my empties. I also have two more of those like different ones, but from the color mates one, and then I'll actually continue using all the other palettes that are old, and then also the ones that I'll definitely be empties soon. So yeah, guys, that is all my makeup for my project pan. Really glad the progress I'm actually going through right now. More very soon next month, so miss you guys. Stay tuned for that. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget the subscribe button for you guys to leave. Make sure you guys also ring that bell. Make sure you guys also click on notifications on. And you guys also really have to subscribe. You guys have to subscribe because it will help me grow on my channel. And make sure you guys will tell everybody that you guys know, your friends, your family, your cousins, grandparents, anybody you guys know who's really into skincare, hair care, makeup, empties, make tutorials, and like that will actually make them feel good. And if you guys also want to do, be like a YouTube like me, just as a job and stuff, then this is a really good channel to check out. But I love you guys all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!